the Sealy Guide to Setting Up the SM35CE Bandsaw. Sealy bandsaws are set up in the factory, but after any period of transportation, they'll require rechecking before using them. This guide covers the most important procedures for setting up your saw, such as changing the blade, blade tensioning, the blade tracking adjustment, adjusting the bow weight, changing the blade speed and tensioning the drive belt. Changing, tracking and tensioning the blade. Blades need to be changed to suit the material you're cutting or if they're worn out. They're extremely sharp so you'll need to wear leather gloves and eye protection when handling them. Firstly, isolate the machine from the electrical supply. Then raise the arm till it's vertical and lock it by turning off the hydraulic feed. Now loosen the two screws that hold the lower blade cover and slide it up as far as it will go. Then partially tighten the screws again to stop it dropping. Next, undo and remove the two screws holding the main blade cover and open it. You can now see the blade mounted on the two pulleys. Now loosen the two screws that secure the upper blade guard and slide it up and out. Then loosen the two lower blade guard screws and slide it down and out. Next, loosen the two socket bolts that lock the tensioning knob on the back of the bow arm using a 6mm hex key. You can then turn the knob anti-clockwise to slacken off the blade until it touches the side of the bow arm housing. Then hold both sides of the blade and lift it off the top pulley, then out of the blade guide rollers and remove it from the machine. This is a good opportunity to check the blade for wear. If there's a groove running along its length, the blade guide rollers are too tight and will need adjusting. Now you can fit the new blade. With the teeth facing towards you, hold it on both sides and guide it onto the bottom pulley. Then slide it between the blade guides and finally over the top pulley. Make sure the blade is pushed back to the raised lip on both pulleys. Then turn the tensioning knob clockwise, just enough to stop the blade touching the side of the bow arm. When the saw is used for the first time, and each time you fit a new blade, the tracking will need to be checked. The tracking ensures the blade runs correctly on the pulleys without binding or falling off. The tracking is adjusted by turning the bottom socket bolt to adjust the angle of the top pulley. With the saw isolated from the main supply, remove the gearbox cover screw, open the cover and turn the top pulley anti-clockwise by hand. Now watch the blade as it rolls over the top pulley. It should be nearly touching the raised lip on the back of the pulley. If the blade moves away from the lip, turn the socket bolt clockwise until it nearly touches the lip. If it's scraping on the lip, turn the socket bolt anti-clockwise a little to move the blade away from the lip. Then try turning it by hand again and repeat as necessary until the blade is running correctly. Once you've finished the adjusting, close the gearbox cover and replace the screw. The next operation involves running the machine with the power on. This should only be carried out by people who are competent, as the saw needs to run with the blade exposed. With your hands clear of the blade, stand at the side of the saw so that you can see the blade on the top pulley. Now turn on the saw and watch the blade's position in relation to the lip on the pulley. If it needs adjusting, Rotate the socket bolt accordingly. Once you've finished, isolate the saw from the electrical supply. Now the blade is ready to be tensioned. If the blade is over tensioned, it can lead to the blade stretching and warping. Use a tension gauge to set the tension between 700 and 900 kilograms, or manually by tightening the blade to remove sag. Now tighten the blade slowly while tapping it with a metal object. As you tighten, the note that's created will get higher as the tension increases. When the note ceases to change, the tension is correct. Now reconnect the main supply and with your hands well clear of the blade, start the machine with the blade cover open and recheck the tracking. Once any adjustments have been made, the tension is set and you can turn off the machine. Then tighten the two tension adjuster locking socket bolts. Now you can refit the blade guards and close the blade cover Finally, loosen the lower blade cover screws, slide down the cover and re-tighten the screws. Adjusting the blade to 90 degrees. Firstly, disconnect the saw from the mains electrical supply. Now, place an engineer's set square onto the bed of the saw, with it touching the blade. The blade should be touching across its entire width. If it doesn't, you need to carry out the following. 
loosen the socket cap screws and rotate both blade guide assemblies in the same direction until the blade sits correctly on the set square. Then you can retighten the socket cap screws. Blade guide bearing adjustment. Setting the guide bearings correctly will ensure your blade runs smoothly without twisting or snagging. Firstly, isolate the machine from the mains electrical supply. Next, raise the arm until it's vertical and secure it by turning off the hydraulic cylinder valve. Now you can remove the protective plate over the guide bearings. Then loosen the hex socket cap screw. This will allow the adjustment of the back roller bearing. It should be between 0.8mm and 0.12mm from the back of the blade, which is equivalent to a thin piece of paper. Each of the outer guide bearings are mounted on an eccentric bushing. To adjust them, loosen their lock nuts, then turn the adjuster until the bearing is just touching the blade, then re-tighten the lock nut. Repeat the procedure for the other bearings, then rotate the blade by hand to check for any blade snagging or rubbing, and readjust if necessary. Finally, refit the protective plate. Bow arm drop speed. If the bow arm's speed of descent is too fast, it will lead to the saw cutting at an angle. The speed of descent can be adjusted by turning the adjuster knob on the damping cylinder. Turning it anti-clockwise will make it drop faster and clockwise will slow it down. Changing the blade speed and changing and tensioning the drive belt. The SM35CE has four blade speeds available for cutting different materials. The instructions include a guide chart on this matter. To change the gears or replace a drive belt, disconnect the saw from the electrical supply. Then loosen the motor securing bolt, loosen the motor adjuster lock nut and wind back the adjuster bolt. Next, remove the gearbox cover screw and open the pulley cover. Then push the motor towards the other pulley to fully slacken the drive belt. You can then pull the belt towards you while turning the pulley anti-clockwise and the belt will slip off the pulley. If the belt is worn it can be replaced or you can study the chart on the bow arm and reposition the belt to achieve a different speed. All that remains is to retension the belt. To do this simply tighten the adjuster bolt until you achieve 10mm of belt deflection between the pulleys. Then tighten the adjuster lock nut and retighten the engine bolt. And the job is complete. And that completes the guide to setting up your Sealy SM35 CE bandsaw. Thank you for watching and look out for our other how-to guides.